Okay, then let's talk about this quarterback competition then. Do you do you think it's um legit when they say they want both guys to compete, the rookie and, and Jimmy Garoppolo? And uh do you think this is the bet do you think this is gonna lead to the best outcome for both of these guys? But it's not what they said. They said they that say? Jimmy they said Jimmy's the starter. They didn't say they're gonna compete. They said that uh did he not say he's gonna compete? I thought he did what? say he was going to compete. Iggy, you know, I listened to it and I I, I kept okay. hearing that Jimmy's the starter. Yeah. And I think that's disingenuous. He's not yeah. the starter anymore. Yeah. The, the better one is the starter. That's anyway, that's how I heard it. Yeah. And I want to say something else. You had a very interesting interview with uh, Mora Jr. And, you know, he comes across. I never really knew him when he was with the Niners. Ira did. He comes across as a very nice man. Um, and he said, if they decide before training camp is over, I guess, that the rookie is the starter, it would be unfair to Jimmy to keep him. I disagree with Mora. Again, I think he's coming from the right place, and he seems like a nice man. There's no unfair or fair. If the other guy beats him out, that's that's tough. And you might need Jimmy. You might, you know, Jimmy, this guy beat you out, but we, we want you on the team. Yeah, uh, to to back him up. That's not unfair. That's how it goes. Yeah, I see that. I see that too. Um, I hope there is a real court, uh, quarterback competition because look, Jimmy never earned the job ever. He's never earned anything in the NFL, and the Niners sort of enabled that. They created that situation. They gave him the big contract after five games. If they they could repeat that now by getting get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo today and then handing the job to a twenty one year old. And saying you're the franchise, you're great because we say so. It's the same. It's repeating history. I don't think they'll do that. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't be in favor of it. I would be in favor of either keeping Jimmy or getting rid of him. It wouldn't matter to me. And getting a bridge quarterback. Because um, I think there are certain bridge quarterbacks in the league who are as good as Jimmy. Like, for example, if Alex Smith, if they want him, he's as good as he's better than Jimmy right now. Iggy. Yes, I agree. Is, is Andy Dalton still free? No, they, he, he signed with the Bears. He's their starter. Okay. Now. So, I mean, there, there may be other ones. Alex Smith comes to mind. But Jimmy would be okay if they can afford him. Uh, he would be okay. And as I say, he might turn out to be terrific. Now, you see, they never gave him any competition. Right. C.J. Brethard and Nick. Nick is a very good quarterback, but he wasn't competition for him. Now he has competition. And my attitude is, how do you stand up to competition? Do you want to win? Do yeah. you have the courage to fight? How much does it mean to you? How good are you? A real athlete, i.e. Steve Young, would want this competition. Wouldn't say, oh, Bring God, my feelings are hurt. How could you do this to me? I yeah. thought you loved me. He would yeah. say, I'm going to kick butt. Yeah. Bring That's what a real competitor would do. And I think the Niners want to see that. At a, not that Jimmy Garoppolo is really the, the topic anymore. He's kind of becoming history. But if Jimmy Garoppolo could uh, – actually rise to the occasion and, and show some competitive fire, that would be great. He might win the job. He might and just win the job. Iggy, you're willing to say he's history more than I am. Okay. I'm saying it's a two-man competition. Yes. Now, if they've pre-decided that Jimmy lost his competition, it's foolish because they haven't stepped onto the field yet. Yes. Yes. Anyway, that's how I would handle it. I'd say, you know, here's two balls. Let's see you go. Yeah, and – 50-50 reps, not like Jimmy gets to play with the first team and the rookie gets to play with the second team. That would be 50-50. We're 50. serving notice on you, Jimmy. This guy gets 50% of the reps with the first team. Right, because it's already understood that he's going to be the, the future of the franchise. That's why right. we got him. Now we want to see if he's the present as well. That's right. We want to know who is the quarterback in 2021. That's what we're dealing with. They want to win a Super Bowl this year. Let's not even think about the next season. This season, we want to win the Super Bowl. Can you do it, Jimmy? Mr. Yeah. X thinks he can do it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I feel that that kind of competition only helps the team. And also, if Jimmy, if, finally, Iggy, if Jimmy crumbles under that, get rid of him. You know, you and I on this show a lot have, talk, have asked – about Jimmy Garoppolo's passion for football. Does he want to play? How much does he care about it? This is going to be a good test. They're coming that they're going to they're, they're running you out of town, Jimmy Garoppolo. They they're taking they're drafting your successor and they're not just taking the guy cuz he fell to them. They're going up to get him. They're mortgaging the future because they don't believe in you. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And they're putting it in your face. 
They're putting, yeah. are you good? What are you going to do about it? Uh, yeah. Are you going to be a competitor? Are you going to beat this guy out? Because the team would love that. 